Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Before we get into talking about Salty up here, we did get some Clyde shirts in. So, got those all done up and looking pretty sweet. If you guys want to get one of those, you can head over to BuildTuneRace.com, grab one, appreciate it, help out, well, fixing Salty. So, let's uh, go ahead and talk about what happened there. Get Clyde moved out of the way, and I'll get Salty dropped down, and we'll go over everything. <laughs> All right, everyone, so I got back from the track the other night and couldn't take any time. It's bugging me already, knowing what had happened, knowing what, kind of what was going on, start to think about why, why, why. Uh, and the only other time I had had a failure like this is when an injector went lean, which I don't think it has anything to do with this, uh, and melted a piston last time. It melted the piston, pushed the pressure into the crankcase, and, and pushed oil out of the engine uh, last time. I've shown this a few times, I keep it around as my little constant reminder to clean my injectors, which I did. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know. So hopefully it's not looking like that inside the engine, but I came home right away. I pulled this bank uh, of plugs because six is on this side, that was six. I was like, all right, I wanna just know, did it get six again? Is there something with the crank sensor that hurts it? I was wondering, did, you know, did it maybe hurt a plug when the crank sensor went out? Uh, and I'll show you guys, I didn't really hear it in my helmet, but in this clip here, you can actually hear it pop towards the end of the pass after I get out of it. So I'm wondering, did it like ignition at the wrong point? Did it get the wrong signal uh, type of deal, which has happened before and actually on that same piston. After finding this out later on, I think uh, this happened quite a ways earlier. I think I actually ran the motor for a while with the lifted ring land, so that's pretty crazy. But um, yeah, so had these issues before. I heard that you know reluctor wheels can move around and all that stuff, which really sucks. We'll find out eventually what what the problem is. So I came home, pulled that bank of plugs out, and unfortunately, number six looks like this. So there is number six, all melted away does not look happy, was not happy, and sad days right there. Uh, all the other plugs really don't look too bad. They all look about like this on that bank. So there's a good plug. Everything looks good. No crazy timing on it. Nothing shows anything crazy. Um, I mean, the plugs have been in there for a minute, so everything looks fine. So I, you know, initially I was like, okay, number six is hurt. Probably gonna have to pull the head off. Look down in the cylinder like I did last time if the pistons hurt bad. I mean, either way, if anything's wrong with the piston, the motor's gonna have to come out, pull the pan off, get the rod off, put a new piston in, whatever. Hopefully it doesn't get into the cylinder wall like number six did the last time, which I had to sleeve it. Big old mess. Uh, but anyways, that's, what bugs me is that it's the same tune-up. And uh, what I'm wondering is, did it hurt the plug, burn the strap back enough, and then I went out there to make another pass, it loaded up on fuel and finally lit it off. It finally got enough spark, enough ton of fuel in the cylinder, and it like lit it off. I don't know live and learn I guess I thought it would be all right but apparently it wasn't so the other night I came over uh, I was like well I'll just pull this bank of plugs hopefully everything looks good there you know probably no issues pull those go over everything before I know if I'm pulling the whole thing out or just a head off and everything looked great until I got to number five and number five actually shows like oil water detonation on it um, the straps mostly there but you can see that it's beat up the strap uh, it did burn it a little bit, and it's wet. It's got a bunch of oil and crud up in it, so I don't know if it pushed oil up through the cylinder or if it actually hurt this one bad enough that it pushed oil or water or whatever. I, it doesn't really smell like fuel. I really hope it's not oil. It kind of looks like oil. It kind of feels like oil. Um, it's kind of like that, so I don't know. Uh, either way, it's not good, and the engine probably needs to come out of this thing and just look over everything, make sure it's okay, and... Probably need to fix the reluctor wheel on the back of this engine. Just if, if, if I end up redoing this engine or my thoughts are if, you know, if it goes back together and I don't want to boost it as much, I'd love to have a six bolt block in this thing. It's all based on how much I can afford and what upgrades I can do. But maybe this becomes Bernie's backup engine for burnouts because if stuff gets more serious, I'm gonna need more power anyway. So maybe that's what I slap in Bernie in the future. But I, I do want to pull the oil. I haven't really looked at that yet. So I'm gonna pull that and see 
So the oil looks really good actually in it. It's not, I mean, there's not a lot of crud. I, I wanna say last time I hurt the piston bad, it was kind of more milky looking in the oil than anything. It kind of had more of a gray from the piston, but and everything smooth. feels good. It smells like brand new oil, so nothing crazy with the oil, even though I know something isn't happening in the engine. Um, I don't know. Something we're gonna have to find out, but I'm pretty sure. So I'm, I'm thinking the plan's just to pull the engine out of this thing. So that's kind of where I'm at everybody. Uh, quick update, I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys to know where Salty's at, what I've found out. Appreciate you guys all watching the last video and everything. So unfortunately that's, that's where it's at. And it, it sounds like, I'm trying, I'm trying to find the good points in this, right? So the engine's probably gonna come out, uh, then it'll be out of the way to pull the heater box and the AC box and the, you know, the wiring and all the factory crap that I've wanted to gut out of this car anyway. So for the winter upgrades, probably cut the cowl out of it, get rid of the wipers, start getting weight. I really want to get a ton of weight out of this thing. If, if we're going to send it, we, we better go crazy this time. So I'm going to go through the whole car and gut all the unnecessary crap out of this thing, make it super light and actually try to make this thing faster. So sometimes you got to go backwards to go forwards, right? So this thing will be a whole different car. I'm kind of sad to think where this thing might be here in a few weeks or a month or two because uh, I'm probably gonna gut it completely back down to almost nothing and restart over a bunch of stuff. So I guess that's how it's gonna happen. We're gonna end up pulling this thing apart and doing a pretty much complete rebuild. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.